Welcome to today's hearing entitled STEM Education, Industry and Philanthropic Initiatives. In front of you are packets containing the written testimony, biographies, and truth and testimony disclosures for today's witness panel. I recognize myself for five minutes for an opening statement. Again, good morning. I want to welcome everyone to today's research subcommittee hearing on the role of industry and philanthropic efforts relating to science, technology, engineering, and math, or as we call it, STEM education. As a cardiothoracic surgeon and father, I understand that STEM programs and initiatives are very important. I believe STEM education is an essential element in America's economic growth and competitiveness. According to the National Science Board's 2012 Science and Engineering Indicators, over the past 25 years, the science and engineering workforce has more than doubled in size and currently represents over 4% of all U.S. jobs. And job losses from 2007 to 2009 recession have been relatively less severe for those in science and engineering related jobs compared to the rest of the U.S. workforce. The federal government spends over $3 billion per year across 13 federal agencies on STEM initiatives and projects. A GAO report completed in January of 2012 concluded a need for a strategic planning to better manage the overlap of federal STEM programs. GAO suggests the Office of Science and Technology Policy should work with agencies and produce a government-wide strategy for STEM initiatives that ensures efficiency and eliminates duplication and ineffective programs. The America Competes Reauthorization Act of 2010 required the National Science and Technology Council's Committee on STEM to develop and implement a five-year STEM education strategic plan to specify and prioritize annual and long-term objectives and describe the role of each federal agency supporting STEM programs and activities. My hope is that this strategic plan will benefit the overall success of federal STEM initiatives, education, and development. However, as we consider federal supports for STEM education, we must also recognize the importance of private sector and nonprofit collaborations to STEM education. As we move forward with competes reauthorization, we can draw on the expertise of industry and philanthropic initiatives to ensure taxpayer dollars are not duplicating efforts and are being used in the most efficient and effective manner. Our witnesses today offer the insight of their, of their industry and philanthropic contributions to STEM education. These organizations work with students in K-12 education as well as undergraduate and graduate students. They also work with STEM teachers and mentors and offer tools for STEM classrooms. I'd like to thank all, all of our witnesses for their time and offering us insight into the private sector STEM relationship. I look for, forward to uh, hearing about your work. At this point, I will now recognize the ranking member, the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Lipinski, for an opening statement. Thank you, Chairman Bouchon. Uh, keeping up your uh